Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you another financial breakdown. We're going to be looking at another one of the secret layers from the December Super Drop, uh, which was available to pre-order on the 5th of December. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Time Trouble 2, a uh, selection of three planeswalkers with retro frame, retro text, there's a lot of text going on on these. Um, and then we shall see whether or not it is actually worth the $29.99 for the regular version and the $39.99 for the foil version. So we'll have a look at these fantastic new cards, the new artwork, and then also we will see whether or not we can purchase these from a previous Magic the Gathering set for a better price to see whether or not these sets are actually worth your money. Or are you just paying for a completely new reskin. Uh, the art on a few of these cards, I have to say, really, really nice indeed. So let's get straight in it and see what we have for the Time Trouble 2. Up first, we have Narset, Partner of Veils. For three mana, one blue blue, we have a legendary planeswalker Narset with opponents can draw only one card each turn. Uh, the text on all three of these cards is um, much more detailed and as you can see, a huge amount of text on them. Uh, the more modern versions of these are obviously a lot easier to read. Uh, it says put five loyalty or use counters on Narset. Opponents can attack Narset as though she were you. Any damage she suffers depletes that much loyalty. If Narset has no loyalty, she abandons you. Uh, also, once during each of your turns, you may spend two loyalty to look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put them into your hand and put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Do not reshuffle afterward. We also have Nissa, who shakes the world. For five mana, three green green. This is my favourite card out of the set. We have a Planeswalker Legend. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional one green to your mana pool. Put five, put five loyalty counters or use counters on Nissa, and then it explains about the opponents again, just like the previous card. Then once during each of your turns, you may add or spend loyalty as indicated for the desired effect. Oh my gosh! So we've got plus one. Put three plus one plus one counters on up to one target non-creature land you control. It untaps. Treat this as a zero zero elemental creature that also is land. But it does not tap to attack and may also attack the turn it comes into play. It can still be tapped for mana. And we've got minus eight. For the rest of the game, lands you control cannot be destroyed by damage or effects that say destroy, so indestructible. Uh, search your library for any number of forests, put them into play tapped, then reshuffle afterwards. And our final card for this set, we have Tezzeret, Agent of Bolas, for four mana, two blue-black. We have a Planeswalker Legend with another mass, mass amount of text. Put three loyalty counters or use counters on Tezzeret. Opponents can attack Tezzeret as though he were you, etc, etc, etc. Once during each of your turns, you may add or spend loyalty, as indicated, for the desired effect. And we have plus one. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and then put into your hand. Rearrange the others and put them onto the bottom of your library. So very different rewording. Uh, for minus one, we have target artifact is now also a 5-5 five, five creature. It regains its original abilities, but now it can be enchanted, killed, and so forth as a creature. And minus four, target player loses life equal to twice the number of artifacts you control and you gain that much life. So the question is, can we buy these cards for a cheaper price from a previous Magic Gathering set? So if we start off with the regulars, the set's going to cost $29.99, but are we able to do this any better? Starting off with Narset Part of Veils. Uh, you can get a War of the Spark copy of this, which is currently going for 89 cents. The Nyssa, who shapes the world. Uh, you can get a War of the Spark copy of this. This is currently going for $4.69. And if you want Tez, Agent of Bolas, uh, you can get the Mirrodin Besieged copy. And that is currently going for $5.59, giving you a grand total. 
you happen to want to buy these in regular of $11.17. Next, we're going to look at the foil copies. So, $39.99 to buy this secret layer version, but can we do it better? Are we able to get them cheaper? So, starting off with Narset Parter of Veils, you are able to get a foil copy of this, the Pro Tour promo. That is currently going for $12.57. If you would like Nissa, who shapes the world, uh, you're able to get the uh, Secret Layer promo copy. Uh, that is currently going for $5.68. And if you would like Tezzeret, Agent of Bolas, you can buy a Mirrodin Besieged copy. Uh, which is going for a whopping $25.25, giving you a grand total for the foil versions of $43.50. So there we have it. I think we have a clear winner. It's the foil slot. Um, $39.99, obviously, for the secret layer version. And it is, at its cheapest, going to cost you for these three cards $43.50 to get them in some form. So that is a definite, definite winner. Uh, very disappointing for the regular versions, the fact that you can pick up these three cards and actually be able to have a lot less text and make them sound and feel a lot simpler uh, for basically $11. So you are paying a fair amount for the beautiful artwork in this set. So I hope this has helped you in some form in deciding whether or not you are going to be buying this particular set. And if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to like, share, subscribe, do all the business, it will help out the channel hugely. Thank you in advance. And all I'd like to say is thank you for watching, people, and we will see you again soon here on Carpool Badger.